Our day began with the opportunity to connect with old friends and new. But soon we were off on our guided tour around Ian Tolhurst's farm. The purpose of our tour was to see at first hand how Tolly had managed to integrate agroforestry into his horticultural business, identify the benefits and, of course, the challenges he had faced. Our first stop was to see and learn about Tolly's use of homemade wood chip compost, a critical element in his management of soil fertility. I work on um, actually on tropical systems, agroforestry systems, uh, principally coffee, uh, and it's an extremely complicated process. So uh, I'm always looking for ideas and experiences, and I think even from uh, temperate systems, there's a, there's a lot you can learn. I've certainly learned. Uh, a, a lot today about the intricacies and, and, and some of the problems of, uh, of carrying it out in practice. Tolly provided us with a detailed explanation of his field scale rotation system. We were also shown a new trial managed in collaboration with the Organic Research Centre. This had been established to compare the performance of uncomposted Ramiel wood chip with Tolly's normal practice of applying composted wood chip onto the green manure. Inevitably, every answer seemed to result in more questions, but with so much more to see, we had to move on. We crossed over the road to the agroforestry field where Tolly shared his practical knowledge of setting up his system. Tolly explained his thinking behind tree species choice, layout and design, as well as his experiences of tree establishment. He also described his experiments in understory management. This had included trials using daffodils, rhubarb and cut flowers. Tolly admitted that not everything had been a success in terms of production, but emphasised the value of understory planting for biodiversity especially supporting pollinators and beneficial predators. So hello, um, my name's Emma. Um, I'm, I just started really actually farming uh, in Worcestershire and uh, I'm particularly eager to set up uh, the farm I have in a way that future-proofs it against uh, climate climate change and other challenges. So I've uh, identified that biodiversity is one of the key ways to do this and agroforestry uh, really ties into that thinking. Um, but uh, because it's quite new, there does seem to be a, a lack of sort of local examples of it working. Uh, hence, I have come here today to develop uh, more knowledge, of course, from those who are actually doing it, uh, but also from networking amongst those who've come here. And so far, it's been very fruitful. Following a well-deserved and greatly appreciated hearty lunch, we moved inside for the afternoon session. We began with a thought-provoking agroforestry design workshop facilitated by Niels Caulfield. As part of the session, participants were asked to consider some hypothetical scenarios for windbreak creation on a market garden. This soon had everyone discussing. No, we end up with a lot of shading and plus the conifers are likely to blow in the wind in the winter and when everything else is without leaves. And the day concluded with a short workshop run by Sally Westerway, a researcher from the Organic Research Centre. Sally explained the aims and objectives of the new agroforestry network, which supported the day's events. Sally also shared the results of a recent survey that explored the priority knowledge needs of those interested in agroforestry in the UK. 
Participants then discuss their own priorities and the issues they would like to be covered in future workshops. Hi, I'm Tom uh, from the Isle of Wight. I'm just up here today to uh, look at how, um, well, my background is in woodland management, really, so I'm interested in how um, we can integrate both farming and woodlands together and trees together. Well, I've also got a personal interest in growing, you know, growing veg as well, so really good to come and see how a productive organic vegetable farm works you know and um, yeah and even better if they can use integrate trees as well that ticks all the boxes for me. It was certainly a full and active day but at the end of it all I think we ticked all the right boxes.